Hi guys, good afternoon. My name is Elsa. I'm the owner of K Modeling Talent Agency in Fresno. I've worked in the industry now for about 15 years and I've managed clients for 10 years. Um, this video is just to kind of give you guys a little bit of information on how to get into the industry and to answer a couple questions that parents are constantly asking. Um, one of the number one questions is, what do you need for an agent or a manager to want to represent you? Um, there's a couple things that you definitely want to have going into an audition just because you do want to look prepared. You obviously want to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing. One of the number one things that I would recommend for anyone that wants to work in this industry is take a proper headshot. Um, headshots could be something with your phone. Nowadays, phones have really good quality. You're more than welcome to do that. Or pay a little bit of money for a very good photographer. Remember, guys, your headshot are like your calling cards. If you have a bad headshot, most likely the agents are not going to be interested in working with you. And remember, agents and managers, we submit headshots to casting directors to consider you for bookings. So if you don't have a good photo, you're never going to work. A couple of examples of photos that I have available for you are like this one. This one is an outside shoot. I love the natural light, so you're more than welcome to go that route. Or you could also do what we call the white background. You could use white background, different color background. You guys get to choose on what color best suits you guys. Um, that's one of the number one things that you guys need to have. Another thing that you guys need a parent to have is entertainment working permits. For every parent out there that wants to have their kids who work in the industry and they're under 18 years old and currently going to school, you need to make sure they have a valid entertainment working permit or else they will not be able to audition or be on set. Um, another thing you may want to have your resume. A lot of questions I usually get are, well, I've never done this before, this is my first time, do I really need a resume? The answer is yes to that. Even if you've never worked in the industry before, but you're starting off, the basic resume has general information about you, which is your first name, your last name, your age, a proper contact number, um, your height, and all that good stuff. And at the bottom, it usually has any credits or any training you've done before. If you've never trained before or worked in the industry, you want to start with just building a resume and adding a couple of stuff that you did in school. If you've done theater, if you've done dancing, any type of coaching, you want to go ahead and put that on there. Just because agents and managers, we want to know that you're actively doing something. That gives us an idea of pretty much how we can represent you. Besides that, everything else is pretty much the more you do for yourself, the more valuable you're going to be for your agent and your manager. I know a lot of actors don't want to get coaching. They kind of want to jump on the boat fresh. I usually recommend receiving a little bit of coaching just because it looks easy to do a commercial on TV, but it's truly not. There's about 300 takes and they only choose one. And if you don't know what you're doing, that may be the first and the last job you do book if you're not prepared to give the casting director or the director that great take to start advertising you. So just make sure you train yourself. You can work with any local studios around your city. You could um, go to LA and get coaching there, go to New York and get coaching there. There's so many academies all around the world that would possibly help you get the proper coaching to get prepared into the industry. Um, also YouTube. Uh, look into YouTube stuff. You know, that could definitely help you a lot, at least to know how to do an audition. You want to just get your foot in the door. After you're in the door, then if your agent or your manager recommends for you to get coaching, they could recommend companies that they work with. And then you get to choose if that's the right fit for you or if you decide to another route. Um, another way for you guys to actually get exposed, guys, try to do modeling talent showcases. Um, I think personally they're a phenomenal opportunity just because just meeting one agent is really hard. So if you get the opportunity to meet 15, 20, 30 legitimate agencies, go for it. Your chances are much greater if you meet several agents at once than it is trying to knock on every door. Because believe me, it's really hard and very competitive in the industry. So take every chance you can to get into the industry. 
Um, I hope I answer some of your questions. I will continue doing more videos later on in the future. Feel free to email the office and I will do my best to answer those um, emails through videos uh, later on. Um, this is Elsa from K Agency and you guys have a lovely day.